Festival King is coming very, very soon, and I'm here to prepare you. Like and subscribe because it helps out a ton. Let's get straight into this. So heading over to GC Database, first I'm going to talk about the teams that you need to start setting up, the characters you need to start building, and all of that in preparation for Festival King. I'm then going to go into gear and little things you should be starting to do, because remember, he is a very, very solid unit, and you should be summoning for him. That, or you're going for Waifu, which is a uh, Christmas Lilia, which I cannot wait for. I am so hyped. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, man. I gotta get gems ready. This is gonna be very depressing, but I don't know. So yes, officially, uh, Chad King will be here in like four or five days, if you didn't already know already. Fairy King Harlequin, he has very, very good stats, very good everything, okay? Massively AoE, does massive damage, and if you didn't already know, he can one turn you. Yes, first turn, destroy you. It happens. He is a blue, so he's a very good counter to the Purgatory Bond team, which is the problem. If you built up Purgatory Bond, this may be a very big dilemma for you. And yes, the big problem with it, um, with Purgatory Bond, is the fact that his team has a very low CC. So what happens is, with Twiggo sitting on there, um, lowering your CC, and the fact that you may not have more Red Arth uh, Arthur copies, you're getting screwed over by um, King, very likely. Very likely. Now, if you're in the need of teams, I got you, so don't worry. Let's talk about them. First, we're gonna go for PvE. This is gonna be for the bird. The bird, the greatest thing uh, in Grand Cross history. You're gonna go Fairy King Harlequin. You're gonna go Holy Knight Gother. I'm the Halloween Gother, obviously. You're gonna go the one and only Magelda and Matrona. Don't worry, if you didn't summon from Magelda, that's fine. You can trade her out for Brunhild, but most people have built up the Matrona, Halloween Gother, Margaret um, team. Like, I've seen that everywhere by now. Um, so the main team and the one that I will say, Magelda, Brunhild, you can swap those two. They're interchangeable, it's fine. You will then go um, Festival King, uh, Matrona, and Halloween Gother. Very good team. You will destroy the bird. I will drop a video um, covering how it works and how you need to do it. Trust me now, that is something you should start investing into or start preparing for PvE because they will decimate, let me tell you now. But now for PvP, let's talk about that. You're wondering about that. I got you. Um, I'm going to be very honest with you. There are a lot of teams you can run, but the most toxic ones exist to be, here you go. So first, if you didn't already see it, there is a team with Fairy King Harlequin. Um, it is going to be King. It is going to be Kyo. If I can find my Kyo tab, give me a second here. There you go. It's going to be Kyo. It's going to be Green Gother again. And then it's going to be Festival Zeldris. This team is nuclear. If you quickly went and summoned for Kyo, I mean, you got him, leveled him up, got some cosmetics for him during this latest KOF collaboration. Let me tell you now, Kyo will decimate. And now remember, because of his Holy Relic, his CC recently got increased. And with Fest King being the literal nuke of the team, ah, uh, yeah, it's gonna be very fun. You'll see when you uh, when you use it, this team can get very uh, very nuclear. Get it? Cause it's fire. I don't know. Another team you can run and go try. Uh, you can use Furry King Harlequin. You can use Merlin, and then you can use the one Escalor. This is literally a nuke team. Um, the three highest DPS characters just completely eviscerating the other one. Then on the bench, you can use anybody you want. It really doesn't matter. But this is a team that was used by many people. And I did see someone um, send me a screenshot of them like eviscerating three teams in a row with like damage. So if you want to try it, your CC will go through the roof and it'll be pretty fun. Now, another team that I wanted to mention, this is going to have Halloween go through yet again. It's going to be King, Gother, Ludoseal, the regular Dosiel, not the uh, not the Margaret Ludoseal, regular Dosiel, and then whoever you want on bench, it is up to you. This team will be pretty much crazy, and plus, again, you should have built your Ludoseal by now. Um, if you haven't, it's been a while, right? You had a chance, you leveled 90 him, you did everything, you got his cosmetics built up, now you have a chance to use him and profit so much because his damage, um, or, you know, his buffs and everything will make your team very, very strong. Again, if you don't have Halloween Gother, you can actually make a Red Gother Merlin um, King team, which will very much work. Again, the fourth is up to you. It doesn't really matter. Put anybody you want on bench. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever. There's also a Pierce team that you can use to counter King. So if you want to build Pierce, um, I have seen a bunch of people talking about Pierce being very good for him. So if you would like to build a Pierce um, Omega Rugal, uh, Meli, Lilia type team, that'll work. You can bring back the OG Pierce team. That will also be very fun. But then again, there is also one more team that can go and eviscerate him. It is the Unknown team. If you built the Unknown team with Amelia um, and uh, what is it, Festival Merlin, that team is destructive to King. So if you want to go and build that, that will be something else. There are some uh, variations of the team, whichever way you want to go about it. I went um, Goddess Elizabeth, Amelia, uh, what is it, uh, Merlin, and then Ramp, right? Buffs are there, everything's there. The Freezes, very good team to go and destroy King with. So if you have that, good choice. There is also this Chad who finally gets to shine, Assault on Meliodas. You attack him, 
you buff him that's your mess up he will go on eviscerate king remember also type advantage exists so he is green he is blue what happens he dies so there you go yes um Meliodas exists if you want to go build a melee team to counter you can go and do that it'll be very good but yes, there are so many more variations of teams you can go and build. Margaret, Gother, um, King. You can use Red uh, Gother, uh, what is it, King, uh, regular Merlin. There are so many things you can go for. So just keep all that in consideration. But the best teams that I wanted to mention are those. Now, when it comes to gear for Festival King, you can go two ways. Main way, I think every soul is going for, is an attack crit. Literally, he crits, uh, like he crits every second. He exactly is what LV Melly was. So you would really want to go and run attack crit. Again, the damage is crazy. If you play in geared, you'll see it. This very much will be his thing. You'll definitely carry it over. Again, you look at assault mode, same way. LV, same way. He's that type of festival character. Massive damage, run that. Or if you want to go and prioritize CC, you can definitely go for an HP crit set. But I will always advise this one go for attack crit it is going to be a walk in the park when you use king but if you want that extra cc you can go and trade that in do i recommend it no go for attack crit that will be your best thing get your ur sets ready and jump in right when he comes out also if you need mats for him don't worry you actually don't need any because you will get a free level 90 character um at the release of festival king because of that new thing they're adding in so you don't even have to prepare for that it'll already be done for you which is a uh, a big uh, a big thumbs up but yes if you're wondering where you're getting that level 90 from it is going to be from this tab over here i'm on jp currently this is where it is bottom right corner that is what it looks like again it will level up your character all the way to level 90 for free and it's a one-time use i believe there may be more i haven't checked that out um if there are but yes a one-time use level 90 use that on festival king get him up there and then if you're wondering do i need awakening materials no because you can head over to the step up tab and over here on one of these gift boxes i believe it's the last one or the second to last one you do get two full awakening tokens i believe where is it where is it it is this one 100 there you go two full awakening tokens so you really don't even need that you also get 15 um super awakening coins and with the release of festival king you will get a bunch more there so really you don't even have to prepare anything you'll get it given to you um right away so just take care of that be ready for it you also get one with his uh challenges over on uh, jp these are what they look like translated that's what you're also going to get so again you don't even need to get your mats up they're really going to just be handed to you which is pretty nice and yes that is all i wanted to cover in this video those are all the teams characters everything you need to go and build up the gear set you need to get ready and things you should be aware of regarding literally leveling him up for free again get these characters ready um go and form your teams get them also up there level them up for anyone that has invested into Kyo and wanted a broken team you now have one also if you invested into the um the unknown meta and you have that team and you really wanted to shine now's your chance which is very nice also to the all the assault melee players no you did not get your fifth weapon but you got a pretty good weapon against king i'll take that any day not bad we'll never get the fifth weapon it's never happening but yes that's all i got for you guys here today thank you for watching peace out everyone enjoy the rest of your day and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one